Hello, welcome to Pro Blue Gun Bluing Solutions. Today, I'm going to demonstrate Pro Blue, which is a cold blue compared to a hot blue. This product is very simple and something that almost anybody who can follow some simple directions can blue and or repair any of their own firearms. Also, this product is good for bluing any types of metal. It could be the screws for a shotgun stock, or it could be for any other items that you might want to turn black. Once again, it's very simple. You start out with rubber gloves. You make sure that you take your metal product and you clean it with a form of rubbing alcohol or acetone. I use just a Myers brand acetone or I buy a gallon can at the auto store of uh, plain acetone to clean the metal with. What you want to do is make sure you clean it very good. On this uh, pistol that I'm going to be demonstrating today, it's a 22 caliber short revolver. And what I've done is I've already cleaned it with the acetone and I have also stripped it. I have stripped all of the bluing off just to give a demonstration from beginning to end. However, you do not have to strip the bluing off of your weapon when you are using this cold blue. It's also used for touch-ups. Um, it comes in concentrate and what's special about Pro Blue is that it can be mixed with 3 to 1 with distilled water and it's also reusable. And what you can do is you just simply run it through a coffee filter when you're done with it and you store it in any type of plastic bottle or container. Pop bottle will work, milk jug. You cannot let it come into contact with lead. That's why as you can see I have the barrel corked off and plugged. It's also plugged on the inside. Uh, this reason is because obviously you may not be able to get all of the lead out of your barrel. So therefore you need to cork your barrels if you're ever going to do the barrels and you're going to do a submersion. Um, next, uh, it has been sitting in hot water because you would like to warm the metal up. It's best if you get the metal warm. You can also use a hair dryer if you're doing spots on repairs like scratches. However, soaking it in hot water is much easier to do the whole thing. Also, as you can see, the revolver has not been disassembled. I am not an armorer and therefore I did not want to have to demonstrate taking apart the pistol and putting it back together just in case somebody follows my directions. Uh, this simply is just to show you how quick and easy it is to re-blue a firearm. And once again, as stated, you'd probably want to disassemble it with an armorer or if you feel comfortable yourself, doing it yourself and then just blue the pieces you need. As you can see, I also have a Facebook page under Pro Blue Gun Bluing. If you go to that, I also have before and after pictures. The hammer and the trigger was actually not blued. It was more of a stained oil type finish. So I do not believe that it will blue. However, Pro Blue may be able to blue the hammer and the trigger. However, everything else is steel other than this piece right here for the uh, trigger mechanism for the revolver. As you've seen, I also have a couple screws in here which have come off of the handle pistol grip. So once again, cork your barrel, heat the metal up. All right, what we're going to do now is remove the pistol from the water. Now, I'm going to be using full concentrate, so therefore, I'm not worried about if there's a little bit of water left behind. However, if you are choosing to mix 3 to 1 with distilled water, the 5 ounce bottle will make 20 ounces, the 16 ounce bottle will make half a gallon. As stated now, the metal is nice and warm. I'm putting everything back into this tray. The barrel's corked. And I am now going to add the Pro Blue. Once again, it's full concentrate so you should see almost an immediate reaction. As you can see it's a powder blue or aqua type solution. Once again, you cannot get this in contact with lead or glass. The purpose for the glass is because glass contains lead. As you can see the metal is already changing. 
and the bluing process is taking effect. And as stated, Pro Blue is a reusable product. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit here in blue for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, if you feel comfortable, you can flip it over, you can roll it around. I'm going to do that in a couple minutes. However, when you do a complete submersion, it pretty much takes out all the hard work for you. Um, easiest way to do a barrel is if you're doing shotgun barrels, rifle barrels, is get some PVC piping just a little bit larger than the barrel, cork the barrel off, put it in the PVC piping and cap one end, then stand it upright and fill it up with the solution if you mixed it uh, with three to one with distilled water. Therefore, you have less volume that you need to do um, to fill it. And then you would just let it sit there for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Wait till you get to the color that you want and then I will explain the rest of the process to you. As stated right now, I'm going to pause the video. This is part one of the bluing of a 22 caliber short pistol. When we get done, part two will be the end result of uh, the bluing product. Once again, Pro Blue Gun Bluing, our 1-800 number. Also, you can visit us on Facebook and obviously on YouTube. Facebook will have the before and after pictures as well as links to the videos. Alright, this is the end of part one and we will be back with part two.